Tennessee senior outfielder Brody Leftridge photo, Tennessee Athletics, UTSports.com, the Tennessee baseball team lost two early leads and then fell short in a late comeback effort in an 8-6, series opening loss at 20th ranked Georgia on Friday night at Foley Field in Athens. Georgia scored four runs, three on one swing of the bat, in the fifth inning to overcome Tennessee's early lead, and the Vols' late inning rally wasn't enough to steal the first of this weekend's three games. Here's a full recap of the game, courtesy of the Tennessee Sports Information Department. Falls fall to no. 20 Georgia in series opener Athens, Georgia. Tennessee fell to no. 20 Georgia, 8-6, in the series opener between the two teams on Friday night at Foley Field in Athens. A four-run fifth inning for the Bulldogs was the difference in the game as that improved them to 11-8 in SEC play. Tennessee senior center fielder Brody Leftridge scored two runs and homered for the third time in five games, while sophomore Justin Ammons recorded three hits, his 13th multi-hit game of this season. Mason Meadows had only one hit for Georgia, but it was a big one. He gave the Bulldogs a 7-4 lead with a three-run blast in the bottom of the fifth inning. Adam Sasser also had a strong night for the Dogs, finishing 3-4 for four at the plate with two runs scored. Bulldogs senior starter Chase Adkins improved to 4-0 on the year despite allowing four runs in six innings of work. Andre Schultz got the loss for UT after allowing three runs in just two-thirds of an inning pitched. Georgia scratched across a run in the bottom of the second to open the scoring. A pair of singles by Michael Curry and Aaron Schunk to lead off the inning put two on with no outs. Both runners advanced on a deep flyout before Curry came around to score on a wild pitch. The Vols scored three times in the top of the fourth to take a 3-1 lead, Evan Russell drove in Nico Mascha with an RBI ground out to tie the game. One batter later, Leftridge, who entered the game as a pinch hitter, hammered the first pitch he saw over the left field wall for a two-run homer to give Tennessee a 3-1 lead. Georgia responded immediately by scoring two runs in the bottom of the fourth, though. The Bulldogs were aided by four walks from Tennessee pitchers in the inning, scoring on a sacrifice fly and a bases-loaded walk to tie the game at 3-3. The Vols didn't wait long to reclaim the lead, though, as Jay Charleston led off the fifth with a solo home run to left field. Georgia answered yet again in the bottom of the fifth, striking for four runs to take a 7-4 lead. Shunk singled in a run to tie the game before Meadows hit a three-run homer to give Georgia the lead and a cushion. Tennessee kept battling and cut the deficit to two with a run in the top of the eighth, but a solo home run by Tucker Bradley put Georgia back up by three heading into the ninth. Leftridge doubled to lead off the ninth and scored on an RBI ground out by freshman Brandon Trammell to cut the UGA lead to two, but the Vols didn't do any more damage, and Zach Kristofak retired the next two batters to earn his third save of the year. Double power surge for Leftridge Brody Leftridge continued his recent power surge with his third home run in the past five games for the Vols. The senior outfielder hit a no-doubter over the left field wall in the top of the fourth inning that put UT ahead 3-1. He also doubled and scored a run in the ninth inning. Ammons stays hot in SEC play, Justin Ammons continues to be Tennessee's most consistent hitter in conference play. The sophomore had three more base hits on Friday and leads the team with 24 hits in SEC play this year. The Memphis native has recorded three or more hits in a game six times this season. Next up, the Vols will look to even the series against the Bulldogs tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern, the game will be streamed live on SEC Network, Watch SPN, and feature a live radio broadcast locally in Knoxville on Sports Radio WNML, FM 99.1, AM 990.